Okay, so this is the, the last topic I'm going to cover. WLAN troubleshooting case. Objective. Upon completion of this course, you'll be able to know the general process for rectifying AP Online 4. Understand possible cause for SDA association failure. Analysis on AP failure to go online. On the double end of the small campus network, APs fail to go online. So right now in this campus, they detect they might have one of the AP doesn't work properly. This is the troubleshooting, the flow chart for an APs. So now the APs have failed to go online. So now we need to check. Is it the AP status is 40? Okay, we can run some um, command to check the status. When using the CRI, you can using display APO. Okay, so when we check already, then we notice, okay, there's no problem. Okay, is, uh, is it the fault is uh, recertified? If then yes, then there's no problem anymore. They, go, they end the case. Okay, when you still haven't solved the problem, when I check or using the display command, I, I notice they still have some faulty. Now I'll continue to the next. Now check, is the device faulty? Okay, try to replace it. Okay, uh, replace the AP or maybe the controller. But I think seldom uh, people are going to replace a controller and we try to not, not to. Okay, we'll replace the, the another AP and test the, the connection again. So once you already replace, they not yet can solving the problem. So we don't know I, either it's AC problem or the AP problem. So now, can the AP obtain an IP address? So this is the first thing we have to check already. So is it the AP get the IP address? So go to your DSCP server. I will not very sure the DSCP configure on where. So you need to go to your switch or maybe the controller to check the DSCP server. Then the next one, check the AC AP network normal. The connection between the controller and also the access point is it work normally? Then the next, does the AP pass AC authentication? So we need to understand what kind of the authentication boot that we select. Does AP quantity exceed the spec? Then the next one. Is the AP MAC address serial number duplicated? So after everything is already checked and you still can't able to solve a problem, at last, you can just make a call and call for someone help uh, help you to solve the problem. Okay, so log into the AC and run the display AP all command to check the AP status. So right now they only detect one AP is go online and other APs fail to go online. So now the troubleshooting is required. So check whether the power and the network cable indicators are normal. Okay, when the AP you doesn't see the indicator is blinking or they have uh, the light up, that means it's a power failure. Okay, when the, the light is up, Okay, the AP indicator is bringing very fast. Indicator the device is normal, but fail to go online. So now check the type. Default status after power on is green, steady on. The meaning is the device has been power on and the software is not started. Then the next one, steady on after bringing once. So after the system is reset and start loading the software, the indicator bring uh, green once. The indicator remains steady green until the software is started. Running, so this one is the normal normal case. So the system is running properly. Okay, so uh, they actually bringing once every two seconds. Then for the alarm, also it's a green color. So the greening very quick. So maybe this is currently uh, being upgraded. After the surface is loaded and started, the AP work in the fit mode, request to go online. The indicator remain in the state before the AP success go online. 
So the AP work in the feed mode fail to go online. So this is the alarm when they bring in very quick. And 40, then they no longer show the green light anymore, they show the red. On the DSCP server, run command to check whether the AP obtain an IP address. In this case, the AC server as a DSCP server is found that the AP has an IP address with 10.1.10.251 processed with the troubleshooting. So this one with using the CRI, you can easily to troubleshoot to show you right now what is the range of your DSCP pool. Okay, the range, the total IP address have 253. Okay, the use either expire 5. And below here, you notice now the IP is already offered to who? Now it's already offered to IP address. Then the next one, we also can run um, the AP Global Configuration command to check the authentication. So the authentication mode is MAC address authentication. Then they'll show you right here. The AP authentication is using MAC authentication. And we also can use a command display AP unauthorized record. When there's some AP you haven't added to your controller, all those AP will belong to the raw AP. The, all, uh, the raw AP will be stored inside this unauthorized record. So this is one of the AP haven't added to your controller. In the WLAN view, add the AP with a MAC address of, okay, this is the AP MAC address. So when we notice that the AP haven't added to the AC, and this is a problem the force uh, the cost the AP can't able to go online. So now we can solve a problem with using the command here. Enter to the WLAN view. Put AP dash MAC with the AP MAC address. Okay, so after you enter this one, now just wait for a few seconds, then it will go online. So just double check again using the command. Display AP all. So make sure the states here to show normal for the new AP. Then the next one is analyst on SDA association failure. The WNA of an enterprise use the tunnel forwarding mode. Okay, on the enterprise, they prefer using a tunnel forwarding mode and they're not going to using a direct. To meet the enterprise high security requirement, configure WPA security policy, 802.1x authentication, and secure AES encryption mode. The radio server authenticate uh, identity of SDA. So they might have one authentication server. Okay, this is a radio server. After WLAN is deployed, AP go online properly, but the SDA associate fail. So we can check on the SDA. Make sure the network card is uh, enabled. Okay, click on the this icon. Most of the computer you have this icon if you're using the uh, the Microsoft window. So a wireless network list is displayed, indicating that the wireless network adapter is enabled. Okay, this is on the uh, the list to show you the, the SSID you already scanned. So this is a variable SSID. So alternative, if you can't able to see anything from here, so we can click on Open Network and Sharing Center and create Change Adapter Setting. Okay, on the display page. The easier one, you can just uh, go to the um, the search bar there and type the uh, the Open Network and Sharing Center. They automatically bring you there. Okay, then you just try to find this Change Adapter Setting. Okay, make sure uh, this one is ready turned on for the Wi-Fi. Then the next one, try to check the signal quality. The weak signal also will cause a very serious uh, the problem to all the user. 
So we go go to the um, the user places, which is uh, the, uh, this is the area they're making the complaint. So go to the area there and try to using the software to scan the surrounding and try to get the report. So after the, the scanning the software, right now this is a SID employee. And I noticed the signal strength is minus 77. It doesn't look very good. After our scanning, and then they notice the signal strength here. Okay, right now they scan for the employee. So this is the employee. And then notice, okay, this is my signal. The dark blue color, this one, is up and down. Okay, this is not something that we want to see. We want to see the very stable network. So in this case, that means they have too many interference. Okay, next, check whether the maximum number of the user on an IP or the VIP is rich. Run, display access user number. Command to view the maximum number of concurrent user. So using this command, so they will show you how many users is already connected and the maximum number can able to connect. So right now my maximum user for the zero is actually referred to the 2.4 frequency band and this one is for the 5 years so maximum user is 512, 5124 each online user for this band is only 10 and another 3 user is on this band then the next one and also try to check on the blacklist and the whitelist so is it the PC MAC address is already inside the blacklist if yes then this is the reason why only this PC is not allowed to associate with the AP because the AC is reject to connect with this SDA. Follow up will be the checking on the .1x authentication if the enterprise is using this authentication. So enter to your um, AC the, using a command line and using the command display this okay, on your VIP profile try to check or you can use in a command display current configuration to check all the command so make sure your configuration here is correct is it the forwarding right now is done if you configure the done mode mean your control also have to configure the default route then the next one are you configure the correct service VLAN for this SSID wrong VLAN assignment will cause a problem Okay, the SSID profile, are you assigned the, uh, the, the name? Okay, the profile for the security and the authentication using workout authentication. So go to the security profile and check. So now I check on my security profile here. This is my security profile. Okay, for .1x. Now I go to the for .1x security and I notice right now my using the security is WPA.1XAS okay this one is correct then go to the authentication and check is it right now the authentication profile is using .1X and this one is for the global .1X authentication just using the display dot one x only so to show the max user maximum i can support up to how many user and current user got how many okay they show all the results from here then the follow-up you have to test your triple a because right now the authentication server is not the controller okay it's the radius server and this radius server is located at somewhere else so try to make sure the controller can connected to the radio server so in the Huawei AC you can using the command test triple A I'm uh, sorry test dash triple S Huawei I'm sorry you need to know what is the, the user account name okay and the template so they show the information whether it subsists or fail And follow up is checking the wireless network. Is it correct? So create the icon again. So or we can open the network sharing center and click the 
manage wireless network on the display page. So click Add. In the display dialog box, click Manual Create a Wireless Network. So manually adding the wireless network, they might have some of the um, environment they're actually using the hidden SSID or some of the wireless network is not allowed to uh, publish to the as a broadcast from. So that means it's not everyone can able to connect it. So for the, all the user they want to connect it to this Wi-Fi, they have to enter the SSID manually. So now they're going to enter the SSID name, the network name. Okay, what kind of the authentication? Okay, and the security key. Okay, click next. So SDA association success. A02.1x authentication need to be enabled on SDA. Create the icon. Okay, and then enter the key. And click connect. Okay, this is very simple. The SDA successfully connected to the network. Therefore, the SDA associate failed because A02.1x authentication is not enabled. So when it's not enabled, then we have to figure out the way, okay, to solve the problem. So you can follow the guide on just now, okay, on this um this slide. And this is a summary. Know the general process for rectifying AP online four. And the last is locate possible cause for SDA association failure.